I'm Katie Steinhaus. I'm a junior at Breckenridge High School. I'm Kyle Warman. I'm also a junior at Breckenridge High School. And this is where we go to school. We are a combined middle school and high school, and we have a total of 330 students in our building, 20 teachers, and one therapy dog. Uh, the like purpose of this whole thing is we just really want to improve our courtyard and make it a usable and enjoyable space for our students and staff. And someone may ask, why is it needed? Um, it's a good place to get outside, get some fresh air, and also a different environment for students who might not focus very well. Less distractions. Um, and as of right now, there's loose rocks. Um, it's not really a place people want to be. It's messy. Um, so having improving the courtyard would make a great addition to our school. Uh, so this is kind of a slide about Blue. He's our therapy dog. He's been at our school for two and a half years. He started his career as an eight-week-old puppy, as you can see in that picture. Um, he participates at our spirit days with us. He likes to nap under our feet, and he just makes our um, school community a much more enjoyable spot to be. And here's our timeline. We had a bond that recently passed in August of 2020. And um, the first phase is we would like um, includes demolition of the current courtyard concrete and we would like our we want our new concrete to be poured in the summer of 2021 and once it's all set in stone we can then start our project and we would like this project to be done at the beginning of the 2021-2022 school year. So this is our courtyard as is right now. As you can see it's kind of a messy place. There's not much room to sit or there's really no purpose to be out there. It's kind of a mixture of pea stone and field stone and loose dirt and it's just not a place that people want to be right now. Thanks to our CAD classes, they made a, re a rendering of what we'd like the courtyard to look like. And as you can see, there's a teacher's table, there's three tables um, over here without umbrellas, because so you, you're in the shade, and then three tables on the other side with umbrellas, and then over in the corner is a little place with pea stone for Blue to use the bathroom. And here is also a different angle of the courtyard with the tables and the teacher's table and the three with the umbrella and then the little place for blue over here. So the first and foremost thing that we have to lay down to start this whole project is the concrete. And we got in touch with the local contractor, but the bid that we got was $6,200, which was a bit more than we expected. So after talking with our superintendent, the school has decided to use the bond to fund the phase one of the concrete project. Here's the tables that we want to purchase for the outdoor classroom, um, and they are blue and gold, so it's perfect that it can match our school colors. Um, they seat four, which would be 24 students out there, which would be great, because a lot of students out in the courtyard. Um, phase three of our project is gonna be some finishing touches, which will include these umbrellas um, to add some shade to people so they can um, have the choice of shade or sun, and it's got a nice crank on it so students can do that themselves. And they are nice and durable, so they're made out of metal and they won't warp or anything over time. Here's the table we want to purchase for the teachers, which is great because the teachers can be out there with the students and um, help them all learn. So obviously Blue's still gonna need somewhere to relieve himself throughout the day. So this new courtyard is gonna give him a safer and more pleasant place to go over in the corner and it's going to be smaller, so it's easier to clean up for us as well. And it'll be easier to manage because it's in a nice contained area. In phase three of our plan, we want to purchase an outdoor whiteboard. Um, and this would be a great addition because it would give teachers another visual aid. Um, and it would also help the students learn. So currently in our old courtyard, we have a weather station, but the wires have been cut and it's disabled and old. And so this model that we just chose um, is able to download wirelessly to Weather Underground so everyone in the community can see what we report here. And it's a nice community impact because everybody gets to see it and it's very like specific to our area, so that's nice too. So this is the layout of all of our costs. Phase one is the concrete that we got the bid for that the bond is going to cover, and that is $6,200. Phase two is what we're asking for you guys for funding for, and that includes the tables and the teacher table to make the outdoor learning environment. Uh, phase three is the finishing touches, which includes the umbrella, the weather station, and the outdoor whiteboard, and we are going to ask for a grant for that. 
And for the additional funding, we plan to write a grant proposal that will fund the finishing touches for our phase three. Um, we are going to write the proposal to the Breckridge Community Schools Education Foundation. Um, and they are a group of retired educators and business people from Breckridge. Uh, they've been around for 25 years and they fund projects submitted by school personnel. And our advisor, Ms. Bowman, is going to help us apply for this grant. <coughs> So Mrs. Wilman Blue's handler um, feels that Luke creates an atmosphere of joy just by being here. He's happy to greet everyone and is non-judgmental, kind to all, and a great friend. He aids students struggling with friendship and home issues, school anxiety, and other problems. Students visibly relax and open up while petting and playing with Luke. So we really just like having Luke here and he makes learning and everything just a lot more enjoyable for us. A way to impact our school community would cre be creating an outdoor classroom. It could be used by um, school groups and clubs and it could be a meeting place and it would give teachers and students an alternative space for classes. So at our school we actually have two earth science classes that both study meteorology um, and rather than depend on somebody else's data we can take our own using this new weather station. Lou is also an official weather reporter for WNEM so using his own data is going to be really cool for that. And we have an update since so starting our picture this, um, we now need the court, courtyard more than ever. We now have a 10-week-old puppy named Goldie, and this is her second week of training. Um, and when she's ready, she'll become a therapy dog over at our elementary school. And we hope that she makes as big of an impact that Blue has made here. So we feel this would be a really great addition to our school, and we hope that you think so too. Thank you for considering our pitch. <laughs>